Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your next 48-hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you for the next 48 hours. All right, unexpected money, income coming in. Very nice. So um, income is how we make our money. So maybe you, you, you just didn't expect this income. Maybe somebody hit you up to do some work, some freelance work, or um, they need something from you. And hey, now it's income for you. So very nice. And sometimes this card can come out when it's an unexpected message too. So concern, yeah. So this could be an unexpected message here. Um, someone could be concerned about you, thinking about you heavily. Somebody could be falling into a very depressive state. Um, maybe because something happened, something transpired, something is over. Somebody is not getting what they thought they would get from a relationship, a situationship. Somebody is not hearing from the other person. The messages are sparse or they're far in between. They're infrequent. There's not communication, a lot of communication. It's not consistent. What is this about for a Gemini? Eight of Cups. So you could be traveling, walking away from. You, you have checked out. Somebody has checked out from you or you checked out from someone. Seven of Cups. Yeah, a lot of emotional... Um, Somebody's take, making a real tough emotional decision to walk away. Finish up and then walk away. Finish up what they have done and then move away because they've already emotionally checked out. Somebody feels like they've given too much to this relationship, this situationship. There's too much unknown. There's too much uh, volatility. Okay. There could also be some third party situation here. There could be someone else in the midst of somebody could be having visitors in the home so somebody's going to put on airs or put on you know the front that everything is okay especially if this is like a a marital type of situation or a living situation the seven of cups there's a lot of um illusions yeah so somebody's putting on here for the visitors that will come to the home but somebody's very depressed very low very low vibrational not knowing how to get out of this or not knowing if they should stay, if they should fight for this. Self-analyze. Somebody needs to really go into a place of uh, self-analysis, okay? Um, in terms of uh, how they feel and what they want. And will this thing get them to where they want to be? With the Seven of Cups here. Somebody feels like... Um, this this relationship is a is something about falsehood. I don't know if the relationship is like built on a whole bunch of different energies and somebody keeping options open and sexual pleasure and fantasy and other women or other men. Some oh shoot! Somebody goes to strip clubs, picks out a stripper, and they do what they do. It's a lot of just like one night stands and paying for, and then moving on because somebody is very depressed or they don't know how to get out of this depression. They don't know how to get what it is they really want. Somebody doesn't even know what they want. Somebody's real lost in terms of themselves, in terms of their emotions. Somebody uses their sexuality as a weapon. Somebody uses their sexuality loosely. Yeah. Somebody definitely goes and sees exotic dancers with the strength card. We have this card that talks about exotic dancers, sex, intimacy, the lack thereof. Somebody is in a low vibration here. Somebody needs extreme healing. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope it's not you. I hope it's someone else. Um, if it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Also, go over to the website, book your reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come learn the tarot with me. The link is below. You can also um, purchase something from the Amazon wish list if you are, you know, in the mood to do so. And if you would like 
you know, to see me get my daily coffee, you could buy me a coffee. The link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.